Hello friend, today we will learn how to create Windows Metro style application using Visual Studio 2011. To start with, you need the Windows development environment ready for you. You can go to Windows Development Center to download the Windows 8 developer preview with all the developer tools which comes in 64-bit which you can deploy in your 64-bit machines. This 4.8 GB of installation comes with Windows SDK Metro style apps, Visual Studio 11, Express for Windows 8 developer preview, Microsoft Expression Blend 5 developer preview and 28 metro style apps including the build conference apps once you are ready with the environment you can see in the start screen you have the visual studio 11 express click the icon to launch the visual studio either click new project in the start page or go to the file new project here you will see four different templates available at the left side. These are all the categories which you can choose for your language. Either you can go with the JavaScript, Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp or Visual C++ based upon your requirement. Let us go with the Visual C Sharp Metro style app. In the right panel you will see five different project templates available. The first one is your application. This is a minimal application for Windows Metro style frameworks. It comes with the basic blank project with the normal XAML pages which you need to create your basic application. Second one is your grid application. This you can choose to create a multi-page project for navigating multiple layers of content with item details displayed on a dedicated page. This you can choose to create a panoramic view also. Split application defines two different section where you can create a project for navigating among a master list of items while viewing their details on the same page. Fourth is your class library which you can choose to create DLL assemblies which you can include in your metro style app or you can use in to create your windows runtime component if you want to create unit testing projects you can go with the unit test library for this demo app tutorial we will choose the application let us give a name hello metro style app once you click ok with your Visual Studio will create the project solution for you. This consists of a images folder. The images folder contains some PNG files for your logo and the splash screen. It comes with app.xaml and mainpage.xaml. If you are familiar with Silverlight, Windows Phone 7 or WPF project, you will know all this xaml files let me show you once again app.xaml has nothing uh, which is the application as the root tag and it defines some xmlns namespace and the class which it belongs in this case this is the namespace hello metro style app and this is the name of the class that is app app.xaml.cs has the on launched method here you will see that we defined window.current.content as the new main page. This, act this actually loads the main page as the default view. Calling window.current.activate actually activates the app and it brings the view to the foreground. You will see the main page XAML. Main page XAML has the main root as user control which defines the class name xmls namespace height and width and other things which you can define it has the content panel as the grid named layout root with a background of black nearly about black not a totally black it uh, has the defined as hash ff0c0c0c 
in the jamil.cs you will not see anything other than the constructor yes you can define anything there let's open the main page jamil by the way it also has a file called package dot apex manifest this contains all the information about your app like title description and other stuffs we'll see those that package dot apex manifest file later on in this tutorial series once you open the main page dot xaml you will see the grid layout route which is the default you can choose anything there but let us go with this grid layout route itself let us add a text block with a text hello metro style application we'll set the foreground to white as the back background color is already defined as a black we'll set the font size to 40 hope it will not be a big big size we'll define the alignment horizontal alignment as center and the vertical alignment as center so that the text will come at the center of the application screen let's close the tag you can define any control there you can drop any control from the toolbox which is present the left side of the your visual studio id now once you build your project once you create the xaml ui and cs file all those things you want to debug it or you want to view it in your uh, local environment or in the simulator in the debugging option you will see start debugging in local machine start debugging in the simulator or in the remote machine this will deploy once you select the remote machine it will deploy the app to the remote machine and then start debugging there if you select local machine and start the debugging process it will deploy the project in your local environment if you want to deploy in the simulator and run it you can choose it the simulator will load the same environment of your physical environment and it will deploy the same thing there here we choose simulator now and let's run the application in the simulator itself this will build the project and deploy it to the simulator here comes the simulator in the simulator you will see the same environment whatever you have in your physical machine you will also see the visual studio in the start screen once it deployed it will load the app you will see the text that is coming up in the screen hello metro style application this is our current view you can add anything there as per your requirement thank you so much for attending the video tutorial here is my technical blog URL where you can find lots of article, tutorials, news, tips and tricks. Also like my Facebook page to be connected with me. I am also available on Twitter. You can find me at Kunal2383. Thank you.